A linear congruential generator is an algorithm that yields a sequence of pseudo-randomized numbers calculated with a discontinuous piecewise linear equation. The method represents one of the oldest and best-known pseudo-random number generator algorithms. The theory behind them is relatively easy to understand, and they are easily implemented and fast, especially on computer hardware which can provide modulo arithmetic by storage bit truncation. The generator is defined by the recurrence relation. Where is the sequence of pseudorandom values, and, a euro the modulus, a euro the multiplier, a euro the increment, a euro the seed, or start value, are integer constants that specify the generator. If c equals zero, the generator is often called a multiplicative congruential generator, or lemma RNG. If c a per mil zero, the method is called a mixed congruential generator. Period length, the period of a general LCG is at most m, and for some choices a factor are much less than that. The LCG will have a full period for all seed values if and only if, and the offset are relatively prime is divisible by all prime factors of, is divisible by 4 if is divisible by 4. These three requirements are referred to as the hull doble theorem. While LCGs are capable of producing pseudorandom numbers which can pass formal tests for randomness, this is extremely sensitive to the choice of the parameter C, M, and A. Historically, poor choices had led to ineffective implementations of LCGs. A particularly illustrative example of this is RANDU, which was widely used in the early 1970s and led to many results which are currently being questioned because of the use of this poor LCG. Parameters in common use The most efficient LCGs have an M equal to a power of 2, most often M equals 232 or M equals 264, because this allows the modulus operation to be computed by merely truncating all but the rightmost 32 or 64 bits. The following table lists the parameters of LCGs in common use, including built-in RAND functions in runtime libraries of various compilers. As shown above, LCGs do not always use all of the bits in the values they produce. For example, the Java implementation operates with 48-bit values at each iteration but returns only their 32 most significant bits. This is because the higher order bits have longer periods than the lower order bits. LCGs that use this truncation technique produce statistically better values than those that do not. The newth representation for three variables is as below, xn plus 1 equals mod 134456, because there are only 134456 distinct possible values, according to the parameter definition, it tends to make it a bit more predictable. If xn is even then xn plus 1 will be odd, and vice versa so the lowest order of bit oscillates at each step. This makes the generator to produce bits in each number that are usually not equally random. Advantages and Disadvantages of LCGs LCGs are fast and require minimal memory to retain state. This makes them valuable for simulating multiple independent streams. LCGs should not be used for applications where high-quality randomness is critical. For example, it is not suitable for a Monte Carlo simulation because of the serial correlation. They also must not be used for cryptographic applications. See Cryptographically Secure Pseudo-Random Number Generator for more suitable generators. If a linear congruential generator is seeded with a character and then iterated once, the result is a simple classical cipher called an affine cipher. This cipher is easily broken by standard frequency analysis. LCGs tend to exhibit some severe defects. For instance, if an LCG is used to choose points in an n-dimensional space, the points will lie on, at most, 1-n hyperplanes. This is due to serial correlation between successive values of the sequence xn. The spectral test, which is a simple test of an LCG's quality, is based on this fact. A further problem of LCGs is that the lower order bits of the generated sequence have a far shorter period than the sequence as a whole if m is set to a power of 2. In general, the nth least significant digit in the base b representation of the output sequence, where b k equals m for some integer k, repeats with at most period b n. 
Yet another problem is that LCGs are not suitable for parallel programming. Multiple threads may access the currently stored state simultaneously causing a race condition. In implementations which use same initialization for different threads, equal sequences of random numbers may occur on simultaneously executing threads. Random number generators, particularly for parallel computers, should not be trusted. It is strongly recommended to check the results of simulation with more than one RNG to check if bias is introduced. Among the recommended generators for use on a parallel computer include combined linear congruential generators using sequence splitting and lagged Fibonacci generators using independent sequences. Nevertheless, for some applications LCGs may be a good option. For instance, in an embedded system, the amount of memory available is often severely limited. Similarly, in an environment such as a video game console taking a small number of high order bits of an LCG may well suffice. The low order bits of LCGs when M is a power of 2 should never be relied on for any degree of randomness whatsoever. Indeed, simply substituting 2N for the modulus term reveals that the low order bits go through very short cycles. In particular, any full cycle LCG when M is a power of 2 will produce alternately odd and even results. Comparison with other PRNGs, if higher quality random numbers are needed, and sufficient memory is available, then the Macentwister algorithm provides a vastly longer period and variate uniformity. A common Macentwister implementation, interestingly enough, uses an LCG to generate seed data. Linear congruential generators have the problem that all of the bits in each number are usually not equally random. A linear feedback shift register PRNG produces a stream of pseudo-random bits, each of which are truly pseudo-random, and can be implemented with essentially the same amount of memory as a linear congruential generator, albeit with a bit more computation. The linear feedback shift register has a strong relationship to linear congruential generators. Given a few values in the sequence, some techniques can predict the following values in the sequence for not only linear congruent generators but any other polynomial congruent generator. See also, full cycle, inversive congruential generator, multiply with carry, lemma RNG, combined linear congruential generator. Notes. References, S.K. Park and K.W. Miller. Random number generators, good ones are hard to find. Communications of the ACM 31, 1192 a Euro 1201. doi 10.1145/63039.63042. DE Newth. The Art of Computer Programming, Volume 2, Seminumerical Algorithms, 3rd Edition. Addison Wesley, 1997. ISBN 0-201-89684-2. Section 3.2.1, The Linear Congruential Method, pages 10 a Euro 26. Peel QIA. Tables of linear congruential generators of different sizes and good lattice structure. Mathematics of Computation 68, 249 a Euro 260 doi, 10.1090 per second 0025-5718-99-00996-5. Press. W. H. Tukolsky, S. A. Bettling, W. T. Flannery, B. P., Section 7.1.1. Some History, Numerical Recipes, The Art of Scientific Computing, New York, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 978-0-521-88068-8, Gentle, James E. Random Number Generation and Monte Carlo Methods, Second Edition, Springer, ISBN 0-387-00178-6. Joan Bonia. Inferring Sequences Produced by Pseudo-Random Number Generators. Journal of the ACM 36, 129 Euro 141 doi. 10.1145 slash 58,562.59305. External links, the simulation linear congruential generator visualizes the correlations between the pseudo-random numbers when manipulating the parameters. Security of random number generation, 
an annotated bibliography, linear congruential generators post to CIMATH, the death of art computer art project at Goldstein Technologies LLC, uses an LCG to generate 33,554,432 images, PLQIA and a CIMAD, test U01, AC library for empirical testing of random number generators, May 2006, revised November 2006, ACM transactions on mathematical software, 33, 4, Article 22, August 2007. Article about another way of cracking LCG.